Cook, I own 512 Baseball. Uh, we implemented the uh, Top Gun program in December of 2015. Um, Top Gun is a program that uh, is, is off, based off of Driveline. Uh, Kyle Body's the president and, and owner of Driveline. He's come up with all of these, all of these movements, drills uh, in his biomechanical lab. All the things that we do here are uh, tested and retested. Um, so what we do is objective and not subjective. Everything we do has been tested. Um, the, the part of the program, we start out with warm-ups. Uh, it goes from, from foam rollers, lax balls, uh, bands, um, cuff weights, shoulder tube. Uh, after that, we jump into our, our plow care work. It's on the wall from pivot picks to roll-ins, uh, walking wind-ups, rockers, uh, just some of the drills that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the most important part of our program is the recovery phase. So after we punish our athletes um, with throwing and throwing and, and, and trying to map those arms and speed the arm up, uh, we go into the recovery. Tucker Davidson, a left-handed pitcher in the Atlanta Braves organization. I've been doing Top Gun for about over a year, and before then I could barely hit 92. And this last season I was up to 96 and consistently sitting in the low 90s. Uh, this program is very beneficial to anybody at any age because it teaches you how to work hard and to actually grind through something and learn how to become a better pitcher and a better player as a baseball. This past summer was kind of like my full year throwing every day and using Top Gun every day and my arm had never felt better. It, the ball came out like it was a ping pong ball every day. And being able to recover after pitching, I used the heavy balls and got to get that lactic acid out of my arm. And using the Mark Pro and all the other different recovery tools really helps you grasp as an athlete and learn how to throw hard and be healthy. months ago and at first it was very sore and then once I got to the hang of things my arm didn't hurt and recovering is key it helps my arm get back to the, where it should be help me throw harder every time I come in my velocity's been going up probably about two miles an hour every month gradually just getting up to what I want it to be Yeah, drafted by the Indians in uh, 2008. Um, saw I was uh, going level to level. Um, you know, career was you know on the on the fast track. Um, never really dealt with anything, and all of a sudden I had a shoulder injury in 2012. Uh, had a tore my right labrum, um, and my career just kind of spiraled from there. Um, was lucky enough that uh, the Indians kept me around long enough um, to play with a teammate in 2015. Um, named Casey Weathers, um, who without meeting him, I probably wouldn't be playing baseball today. Um, I was in the bullpen with him, and uh, he had just had his, uh, his former first round pick, Vanderbilt closer, um, and he was just kind of talking about his career, and in a lot of ways it sounded like mine, you know, aside from, you know, I wasn't a first rounder and all that stuff, but um, he had an injury, uh, his career was in the flux, um, and then he stumbles across driveline baseball, and uh, he, at 30 years old, hit 100 um, and had his first full, healthy professional season at 30 years old. Um, so obviously, I was my interest was very uh, peaked right there. Um, so I, you know, kind of delved into it more and uh, did some more research and then talked to him and obviously um, got online and whatnot. And ended up me and Cameron uh, last year went up there to uh, Seattle and kind of saw how they did it and you know what they're all about and stuff and it was a pretty impressive deal they got going on um, and the success stories that they have. Um, so flash uh, flashback to last year, uh, get released by the Indians, um, signed with the Braves a week later, uh, completely uncompetitive, throwing you know high 80s, low 90s, no command, just uncompetitive in every way. Um, 
get released again, so I get released twice in uh, one season in a, in a span of three or four months, actually. Um, and so I'm here, you know, uh, with no job for the first time and since I graduated high school, you know, I'm not, I don't have a team. Um, so I talked to Cameron, hey, let's get this, you know, this driveline stuff going here. Um, and he's like, yeah, let's do it. Sounds like a good idea. So I uh, convinced him to put the wall, that you know, our plyo wall up and all this stuff. And so in the meantime, I'm working out and I have, you know, a job while I'm doing it too. Um, so I work out for about two or three months. I, you know, I had a thumb injury as well in there. Uh, it kind of messed up my timing last year, but I uh, ended up getting about two or three good months of, of uh, top gun training in and uh, ended up going and playing, signing with the uh, Lincoln Salt Dogs. And uh, pitched about 10 innings there. Uh, saw my velocity go from high 80s, low 90s, all over the zone, and uncompetitive to sitting mid 90s, touching 96, 97. Um, and throwing it for strikes, which I hadn't done in quite a while. Um, got picked, the Rangers saw me, signed me the next day. Uh, ended up going out to California again, pitching in that same velocity range, mid 90s. Um, ended up in the closer role for a while, had, you know, and on a team that we ended up winning the championship. Um, so far cry from a couple years ago, not being able to find a job to, uh, to signing with my dream organization and team I ended up, you know, grew up watching and, and then uh, going to their games and stuff. So it's been quite a ride. A lot of hitters have just been shaking their heads here tonight. Wow, he's throwing 96 on that fastball. 0-2 to Jababi. And he goes down on three pitches. A slider in the dirt. Two away. What in the world was this guy doing in an independent ball? 96 mile an hour fastball. Nasty slider. Probably the best stuff we've seen all night. And no chance right there for Jababi.